Hello friends, I am Dwanil Shah. Hope you all are doing good. So in this video, I will be solving a problem from the International Mathematics Olympiads 2015 paper. So let's directly jump to the question. So the question states that we need to determine all the functions f which are from the set of real numbers to the set of real numbers which satisfy the given equation. This equation, the, so f of x satisfies this given equation for all real numbers x and y. So I request you to please pause the video and then jump to the solution. So let's start with the solution of this problem. So first let's substitute x and y both equal to 0 in this equation. So if we substitute x and y equal to 0, so this would be f of 0 plus x and y are 0, so plus f of 0 plus x times y would also be 0, so f of 0 is equal to on the right hand side x would be 0 plus f of x plus y would be 0 plus as y 0 so 0 times anything would remain 0 so what we got is f of f of 0 and this f of 0 would get cancelled so f of f of 0 is equal to 0 so now let's say f of 0 is a constant c so if f of 0 is c, then if we substitute f of 0 equal to c here, then f of c would be 0. So we got these two relations. First, f of 0 is equal to a constant c and f of that same constant is equal to 0. So now uh, you could think as we got a value for a constant c, so now let's substitute x equal to 0 and y equal to c in this above equation. So if we substitute x equal to 0, so this would be f of x is 0, 0 plus f of 0 plus c would be f of c plus f of 0 into c would remain 0. So f of 0 is equal to x is 0. So no, this would not make any difference. Plus f of 0 plus c would be f of c plus c times f of 0. So c times f of 0. Now, so this would be f of f of c and f of c is 0. So this would be f of 0 plus f of 0 is equal to f of c. f of c is 0 as we just found out in from the above relation. So f of c is 0. So 0 plus c times f of 0 and f of 0 is c. So this would be c squared. So this would give us c squared is equal to twice f of 0 and f of 0 is c. So what we would get is c squared minus 2c is 0 and hence we got two values of c. So one is 0 and the other is 2. So we got two values of c. So C what we are above uh, what we had above mentioned f of 0 C to be f of 0 and hence we got two values of f of 0 one is 0 and the other is 2 so this is the first relation now we would be considering two cases so the case one would be when f of 0 is 0 and the second case would be when f of 0 is 2 so the, for the first case when f of 0 is 0 let let us substitute x equal to 0 and y equal to x in this above equation. So if x is equal to 0, so this would be f of 0 plus x is 0, so 0 plus y. So this would be f of 0 plus f of 0 plus y and y is what we substitute y as x. So this would be and the second term is f of xy as x is 0, so this would remain 0. So f of 0 is equal to, on the right hand side we have x but x is 0 plus f of x which is 0 plus y which is x so it would be f of x which would be so f of x plus y times f of x and y we substituted as x so x times f of 0. So this would be x times f of 0. So now in this case we had considered f of 0 to be 0. So this here would be x f of x plus f of 0 is 0 and on the right hand side it would be f of x and f, f of 0 is 0 so x times 0 would be 0. So we got this relation f of f of x is equal to f of x. So now let's say f of x is equal to some variable z. So if f of x is equal to z what we would get is f of z is equal to z or f of x is equal to x. So the first function which satisfies the above relation is f of x is equal to x. Now consider case 2. 
so for case 2 f of 0 would be 2 now again substitute x equal to 0 and y equal to x in the above relation so we would get the same equation as in the above case so this would be f of f of x plus f of 0 is equal to f of x plus x times f of 0 but in this case what we have in this case f of 0 is equal to 2 so f of f of x plus f of 0 which is 2 in this case is equal to f of x plus x times f of 0 is 2 so plus 2x so now f of x should be linear because if f f of x should be linear for the degrees of the left hand side left hand side and the right hand side to be equal so let's say if f, uh, the degree of f of x is greater than 1 in that case the maximum degree on the right hand side would be 2 because the maximum degrees of f of x this has a degree 1 but we supposed f of x to have a highest degree of 2 so in that case right hand side would be have a degree of maximum degree of 2 but on the left hand side we have a composite function f of f of x and we suppose the degree of f of x to be 2 in that case the degree of this composite function would be 4 and but and hence the left hand side and right hand side could never be equal so f of x would be a linear function so now let's put x equal to 0 in this equation in this above equation so if x is equal to 0 what we would get is f of 0 which is 2 so f of 2 plus 2 is equal to f of 0 which is 2 plus 2 times 0 would be 0 and hence we got this relation which is f of 2 is equal to 0 we had used this relation f of 0 is equal to 2 so we got two relations now we know that f of x is linear as we had just proved from the above equation so let f of x to be a linear function ax plus b in that case we note that f of 0 so f of 0 would be b which is equal to 2 and similarly we know that f of 2 is equal to 0 so f of 2 would be 2a plus b is equal to 0 but we found out b to be 2 so 2a is equal to minus 2 and hence a is equal to minus 1 so we got the values of a and b so we can substitute in this substitute it in this equation to get the value of f of x so we get the value of f of x to be 2 minus x so we got the two functions f of x equal to x and the second function f of x equal to 2 minus x which satisfy this this relation given this equation given so the two answers are f of x is equal to x and f of x equal to 2 minus x so if you like the video do press the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do hit the subscribe button for more such interesting videos on mathematics. Till then, goodbye.